Pisces Mary at minialbumscraps.ning.com. My YouTube is Sugar Grove Crafts. And I'm going to show you the um, altered thimbles that we did at Mini Album Scraps. This was for the embellishment swap. And um, all our presentation pieces at Mass, or ones I host anyway, are always um, supposed to be on a nice, sturdy um, presentation piece, you know, because that just makes your swap all that more beautiful. So first up, I have Sandy Pry. And this is Sandy's information. Sandy just does beautiful work. She used her bind it all for up here and she's got her ribbons. And this is her altered thimble. Beautiful. So that's one of Sandy's. Did you see all this down here? Um, I'm not going to open them all, but I'll just show you. Let's see. Feathers, feathers in her thimble, and beads and charms. This one she's done in greens and yellows and blues. Look at these beads. Little purse. You see the little purse? Can you see all the beads, little seed beads she put on her thimble? She used alcohol inks. Oh, this one has a little purse. There. I think I showed you but so you can see it better. And I just want you to really see everything she's put on these. This one has a little like summer hat and butterflies. So these are all by Sandy Pry. And Sandy sent me these brads. Aren't they cute? And I love these. These are, they look like, I thought they were metal. When it said stickers, I thought, oh, those gotta be brads or something, because they're they're like shiny and then they are dimensional. But aren't those pretty? Stamp a, um, you know, make a stamp and put those on it. Or these are stickers too, but they're just really pretty. That make a really nice, so some, a few really nice cards. So thank you, Sandy. And next up, we have David Millard. This is David's information. We always love to see what David comes up with. I'll put that there for you to look at. David uses silk ties. He goes around and he collects silk ties and then he cuts them in these strips. Aren't they neat? And he, I don't have them right here. What I did with them. He sent me a baggie, a cute baggie with um, some, some strips in it for me to use. That was really nice of him. I'm going to have to check out my thrift shop their ties.
It's so pretty. Can heaven be so envious? The beads. It's just beautiful, David. Beautiful. Um, there's another one of David's. It says, um, I can't read it all. I don't want to take it out of the package. Here's another one of his. Locks and beads and He has all these words and they're wrapped all the way around it. Oh, he used the seed beads too, like Sandy did. Those little, I don't know if they're seed beads, but. Too wise, wisely too fair. She is too fair. Totally different look. And then, this one in the browns. Her best array, happiness. I'm just gonna go like this so you can see them. They have so much stuff on them, just gorgeous. Bird dove up there, so vintagey. So those are by David. Next up is Michelle Emmerich. It's so fun to see everybody's different take. I think Michelle sews a lot. Um, that's I think that's her first craft is her sewing from what I've read. But look at her thimbles. They're so pretty. Look what she put the... She covered them in lace. And she dyed the lace. Get my fingers out of there. One of the requirements was that they all had to have um, dangles. And that's her presentation. And I, this one I thought was so unique. It's going to take a minute because you have to see it. Okay. Her presentation piece is the tree and the flowers, the butterflies, fairy tales do come true. And she made this little fairy. And you see the, the arms? She's got beads making like the arms, hands, and the wings. And then she made the, the dress to go around the thimble. Then out from the thimble is all the it's just so cute. I don't know if she just thought of this or if she saw it, saw it somewhere, but it is just adorable. And um, here's another one of Mich Michelle's. This one, she's got all like punched papers all over it. So cute. And look at the butterfly. Can you see that butterfly? It's got a really tiny piece of really fine wire that's holding it to this. So it looks like it's flying by itself over the thimble. If you had that very far, you know, you were far away, you wouldn't be able to tell that that's attached. So cute. And here's another one of her fairies just done in the different colors. These are more blues and greens. Or this one is in green. So she had two fairies and then two just differently unique thimbles. Thank you, Michelle. Oh, thank you for participating. And I have to go show you something. I hope she doesn't care. She had her thimbles in this box. And they were all four in here. I couldn't swap them out like that, so we had to switch them over to individual packages. But if you can imagine how cute this was, this box, she did. And she altered it, and then... Look, she, 
this paper and the trim and then she she strung this this elastic up here and she had all of the, you know like the flying fairy here and the and then the <clears throat> the flowers and it was so cute so cute I'll probably send this randomly to one person that gets her little fairies because I mean she did such detail it's so pretty look at all the detail in this box she's cut it up here to make it and put the shelf in and this is so cute so we were able to fix that up for her because I really want her to swap again. She does beautiful work. Beautiful work. <clears throat> Next up is Leah Cordell. Now Leah is the one that did the video for us on how to make these. Here's one of Leah's. Sometimes if they're easy to open, I can open them and <clears throat> get them back. Get that there for you to look at. Look at Leah's strung beads all around her presentation piece. That's why I couldn't show you because that netting was up there. She has a locket, cameo locket. Very cute. Very vintage. Vintage y. Here's another one of Leah's. Totally different take. She's all makes awesome stuff. She's done the gears and she's in Boston and. And look here, this one. It's hard to believe that these are thimbles, huh? So those are by Leah Cordell. Next up is Karen Dabney. There's Karen's work information. I forgot to give you some. Let's see. This is Leah's information. And Leah made these. <clears throat> and this was Karen's. There you go. Oh my gosh, Karen that is so pretty. Gosh. She has a little pink butterfly on her thimble. I tried making these. <clears throat> I'm not that crafty. And let me tell you. I couldn't. They didn't look very well good. This is just gorgeous. So pretty. This is Karen's other one. It's just like this, but in greens. Thank you, Karen. Next up is Marla also known as Echo. Isn't that pretty? There's 
handle this information. Another one. Oh, I love it. I think I know who's going to get that one. Okay, oh, she has an ocean one. Isn't that cute? Says me. I love the way you um, your presentation piece, Marla. Let me pick one out. So pretty. Oh, very nice, Marla. <clears throat> I hope you're having fun wherever you are. She got hers in early because she was going to be vacationing. <clears throat> Next up is Lori. It's one of Lori's. See that one it is so pretty. Let's see if I can show you her information. She doesn't live that far from me. Lori doesn't. Maybe someday I'll get to meet her. Oh, she did the beach theme too. You guys got it. Isn't that cute? Love it. Love it, love it. Look at she's a vintage little girl. One of the requirements in my swaps is that there's not supposed to be any bare chipboard. And you'll see that everybody's very nicely covered up the backs of them. See? You know, like David's. Just the whole presentation. Look at this. And this is Lori's. And Lori sent me this little card kit. That it's gonna be a lot of fun. I color that and make my own little card. Next up, next up is Jennifer Mertens. These are Jennifer's. It's like she's got a beat, some beads up here, and she's alcoholing her thimble, and she has some bling on it. Ooh, you know what? I have some ribbon like that. I don't even know where it came from, but I have it. I like it. Um, to the key, it says Paris, and life is about creating yourself with Tim Holtz band. Um, this one, she has a key, and look at that dangle. Isn't that beautiful? And a butterfly. Just in different colors. It's a pretty bead. A key and a butterfly embrace imperfections. Very nice, Jennifer. Oh my gosh, keep going. If you find any more pretty ones, they're all pretty, just a little bit different. This one's in the pinks. So thank you, Jennifer. Beautiful as always. And then last up, we have 
Colleen Sherlock. Colleen's are really pretty too. She has a little cameo. That's pretty. That is really pretty. It's so tiny. And then her thimbles, her dangles. Isn't that pretty? Cameo. They're pretty beads. Ooh, I love this one. Laugh and cherish around here. And, oops. Get your beads and dangle. Here, we take one out. I'm take one out. Oh, maybe I won't. Yes, I can. Oh, I have to rip the staple. Let's see. Just wanted you to see that pretty heart, a little dangle from it. Let's see what else she's got. But I like this is pretty way she has the trim. Look at all the dangles. The blue one. That's pretty too. Very pretty pulling. Okay, that's it for the altered thimbles. And remember, if this interests you, find us over at minialbumscraps.ning.com.